Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. This guide shows you how to do some searching and sorting in Gmail on a desktop computer. So first of all, if you wanted to sort the messages in reverse order, so therefore instead of having the newest at the top, have the oldest first, then all you do is you just click on the figures that are just up there in the top right hand corner of the screen and then click oldest. And then you'll notice the oldest of the messages will now appear at the top and the newest will appear at the bottom. Now, if you wanna put them back, just again, click on those figures there and then click newest. Say for instance, though, you was looking for messages that were older than a certain date. Say if you wanted to do like a bulk delete of messages older than, uh, I don't know, say for instance, last year. So today's date is the 14th of January, 2022, as I'm recording this. So say for instance, I wanted to delete all the messages older than the 14th of January, 2020. Then what I can do is I can click up there into search mail. Okay. And then just type before colon, and then put in the date. So uh, let's just put in, so 1401 2020. So that's in English format, or you can do it in American format if you want. You can just do 2020 01 14. Doesn't matter which way you do it, Google will pick that up. So I'm going to put it back to the good old English format and then just press enter or return on your keyboard. And there we go. It's showing me now all messages that are older than. January 2020 and if I wanted to delete them I can just tick the box just up there select and then click on the bin and that will then delete all those messages from 13th of January 2020 and older. Likewise if you wanted to find messages after a certain date then what we can do is we can type newer and let's just type in this year so the first of the first 2022. So any messages that are newer than the first of the first 2022 will now appear in the message list. And there we go. If you wanted to search from messages from a certain person, then just type from colon and say I was looking for messages just from Google. I've typed Google, press enter, and there we go. Messages from Google will now appear. If you're looking for messages that um, have something in the subject line that you're looking for, then you can just type subject colon. And so I was looking for Black Friday. So I type Black Friday, press enter, and there you go. It will show you all the messages with Black Friday in the subject. You can also search for messages with attachments. So if you know the attachment name, you can just type in file name, colon and then the attachment name. So I've just typed in PDF. So there you go. It's showing me all emails now that have got attachments with PDFs in them. But if I knew the exact name of the PDF, then I could type that in too. So I could type in there. I know that I've got a, 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 an attachment called script.pdf in one of the emails. So I just type script.pdf after file name colon. And there we go. It just filters it out to that particular email. If you want to search for messages that are starred, then just type is colon starred. And there you go. That will show you the messages that are starred. If you're looking for messages that are unread, then you can just type is colon unread. And there you go. That shows you all the messages that are unread. So there you go, there's some pretty powerful search terms there for Gmail on the desktop system. So this is really if you're using Gmail via a browser and hopefully this will help you find, sort or delete old messages. Hope this guide helps. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. 
You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.